Hey there, Aries. How are you? We're going to get started on your love reading for the month of June. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's begin by choosing a deck. And I'm going to use this one here. For those of you that care to know, it's the Tarot Grand Lux. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Aries. This is your love reading for the month of June. I just got back from a walk and uh i met a stranger a very nice lady and her dog and uh at first we just uh started talking about our dogs and then the conversation just went on and turned into this very deep spiritual conversation that lasted about I think a little over an hour and and now I, I just I got back and I'm feeling very energized Aries Sun Moon rising and Venus let's begin with your love reading my dear we have the world card there could be an Aquarius and we have the seven of swords ah so I'm getting for those of you that I'm connecting with my dear Aries um, it's it, it is a little tricky. It's going to be, it has been a little tricky trying to wrap something up. This is a love reading. So um, I'm seeing this world card here as something that is uh, coming full circle, something that you're having to wrap up. I feel like this is um, something that you're kind of having to get around to here with this seven of swords i feel like that's going to be a little tricky what does that mean it means that there could be a lot of distractions or a lot of things that happen or that do not happen that are could potential potentially sabotage you from doing it <laughs> okay so I'm getting that for those of you that I'm connecting with, there is um, a relationship, a connection here in which you are trying to, honestly, I feel like wrap up. Now, whatever that means to you, we have the Four of Swords. Let's get another card. And we have the Ace of Wands. With the Four of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Ooh, okay. That's the scary devil here. Ah. Yeah, that devil to me, it just looks scary. Um, with the Four of Swords and the Ace of Wands, guys. Um, okay, like right now I heard there's a bottom here. I'll let you see the symbolism there. That's kind of like FYI, you know, additional information that is going to resonate with some of you and tell you that's my reading. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a bottom here. However, that resonates. Four of Swords and the Ace of Wands. I feel like there has been uh, someone here um, in this connection, in this relationship, in this situation, which has not yet taken action it seems as though they won't be either anytime soon um with the devil i feel like this is a result of a lot of limitations a lot of restrictions now if the devil is here it says that there is definitely some things that are not making this possible so you know sometimes we're in a situation where maybe somebody you might label them for example let's just say i mean lazy or they just don't want to do it or they're holding back or you know there's different reasons why something is not done or someone does not take action. And when the devil is there, it says there's, I don't want to say a pretty good reason, but there is definitely an energy at the very least, one energy or energies there that are making things very difficult, okay? That are limiting and restricting. Let's see. I do feel like someone is um, slowly, we could say, becoming inspired. We have the Hermit. This could be a Virgo. And here we have the Lovers. There could be a Gemini as well. 
So look at this. So this is the hermit, right? And the hermit, guys, goes off into the mountains and then you don't see them a while. So if you could symbolically see this as like this, this is a long way. Or it's going to be, uh, you know, some time until the hermit stumbles upon the lovers. For those of you that I'm connecting with, I feel like it's already been a while. So if you could see it like, I feel like the hermit has been traveling some time, traveling being life experience, time, you know, going by that has, you know, helped this hermit gain a particular uh, perspective or gain certain knowledge and wisdom about their life and where it is that they are, how it is that they feel about you, about a connection, about themselves, you know, think that hermit. For many of you, I feel like someone pretty much finds themselves there in a place where they realize and understand that there needs to be a decision that is made for the greater good of two people. So the lovers is all about, uh, um, it is a higher commitment, but here I'm seeing it as a decision that is going to benefit to benefit two people. I feel like uh, perhaps the masculine energy here definitely sees that and understands that. Despite that though, they're not taking any sort of action yet. Not necessarily because they don't desire to, but because they could be thinking about it. They could be thinking about it. Not they could, I mean, they are with the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords does have, you know, it does, it, it, it can turn into like, a, what is it, analysis paralysis? where someone just gets stuck thinking and analyzing something and they just get stuck in that process of like, well, I could do this or I could do that, or you know, and they just never really do anything. I kind of feel like someone has uh, been in, in that place. Now, let me look at this world card, Spirit. Can you tell me more about, you know, there's, what is this seven of swords here? We have the five of cups. And it's connected to the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords and then the Five of Cups. Yeah, so you see there's a gentleman here that's like, okay, how do I maneuver through this? For many of you right now, I'm hearing, how do I not necessarily get myself out of this because I don't see someone that is trying to get themselves out of something, but more so they're trying to get through something. For many of you, this is an individual here that uh, has, is not ready necessary, is not ready yet to act and to do, but that wants to continue further with this. With the Five of Cups, I do feel like, I mean, this could certainly be the feminine energy that is uh, satin, is disappointed. They're not happy with the way things are. I'm hearing we're going on another year. And still we're on this journey. It's all kind of coming to a head though. Something I will say is whatever the devil card is, that is really, I would say, the obstruction here. What is not um, allowing this one to get up and act. Now, this act could certainly be one that requires courage and bravery to execute. Determination will. That is what, that's what needs to happen. Um, this individual though, I mean, if, if we look at it symbolically, I'm not saying that they shouldn't, but I am saying, you know, if we look at this symbolically, uh, I think that person needs to lay there and rest a little bit. I don't see this individual in any position or in any condition 
mentally physically spiritually or just you know let's just say i don't see them in 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 the in the energetic state to get up and do some jumping jacks for example right do you see so think about that you know for those of you that i'm connecting with i mean this could be you tr someone trying to get you i'm hearing to get up from here and do some jumping jacks or that could be you trying to get someone to do that but having to look at this symbolically at this entire situation as that's not a person that is in the state or in the condition to do that which i seek Or if you're the cross watcher, for example, and this is Aries doing this to you, you know, energetically, you're not in a position to do whatever the hell this is. Not this person. And again, for many of you, that's going to be for many different reasons. And overall, you know, what that is, is the devil, which is a limitation and a restriction that is currently being experienced. Now, it doesn't mean it's going to be that way. I do feel like there's grave disappointment here. Like, why is this happening? Or why do things have to be this way and there's a person here that's like well holy crap i have a desire to do this but i have a desire to do it and well because i'm not or because i can't i'm gonna have to maneuver myself through this the best that i can and for many of you this would manifest as something like this like um someone that um knows okay well let me give you okay so it would be like a couple and then this one wants to move the relationship forward but then this one they both do but this one doesn't understand that it can't happen yet or maybe they do understand but it's like they just they don't understand why it can't happen in that moment and the other person's like i want it to happen but i i can't and then the other person's like, well, why not? Or I don't see why not, you know, that type of situation. Now, again, you know, you, you, you take that in and uh, apply it, you know, to your unique situation. That's pretty much what we have here. Interesting. So this is kind of like, um, pre this is present energy. For many of you, it's past and it's present. So when that happens, when spirit, for example, gives us this here, like past and present energy is to give you perspective. Many, maybe some of you need, need to know this, okay, or need to see things in, in, a, in this manner, perhaps. Um, let's see what's going to, um, what is going to, what is going to transpire come from this spirit? What's going to what is going to be transpiring happening from this let's see let's see we have the hangman hello look and then we have the six of pentacles I mean, there's a delicate balance here of, of, of give and take where it's going to feel like one person is going to be given more than the other. But that's not necessarily the case because the Six of Pentacles is not an unbalanced energy. It's, it's balanced. And this scale doesn't have to be, you know what how would you call it just like balance on both sides you know it doesn't have to be that way for it for a situ for it to translate a balanced energy it all depends on what i'm hearing what these two sides have to offer so it would be something like let me put it to you like this so if you could think about it in like energetic terms with this example there is a millionaire here and then there's a person that is not a millionaire you know they they don't have that much money and there's a charity for example going on this person that doesn't that's not a millionaire is um donating a thousand dollars and that's a lot based on what it is that they get paid 
and then the millionaire over here is um, donating twice as much, triple, 10 times more than that. Let's say this one's donating $10,000. That is not, you know, um, that that's not uh, an imbalance there. It goes based on what these two, it, it, it's fair based on what these two people have to offer. So that's kind of like the energy that I'm getting here, okay? I do feel like, you know, there's an individual, could certainly be the masculine energy that doesn't, you know, they're not okay with being in this position here. They're, they're could be feeling, you know, maybe powerless a bit, you know, not helpless, but maybe powerless in some kind of way right now. Here at the back, if you could see, you see that there is a knight and it looks like the knight of swords. And if you know anything about the knight of swords, it, the knight of swords can be impatient and they're just, they kind of just go. So this is, we could, a masculine energy, an individual that is wanting to act, is wanting to do in a sense is wanting to act on impulse that is like their 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 first instinct we could say but they they can't with the hangman it says that you know they're go this is this energy here in whatever way is manifesting in your life is going to continue for a while longer until this individual is able to get you know get off of here get unhung and with the six of pentacles, um, I feel like what you can expect is this individual to provide and give and share whatever it is that they're able to. Now, again, depending on how you look at it, it might seem like, oh, well, you're not putting in as much as I am. But based on the circumstances, it's. I don't want to say fair, but it's what the it's 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 what they can give, which is not nothing. So that is that that is like future developments, you know. Um, again, I feel like spirit is offering perspective. There could be a cancer of significance. Um, there is a need to look at this situation perhaps from a higher perspective or from a different point of view from that which you have been viewing it thus far. Here with this Two of Pentacles, I do see an individual that is trying, that, that the Two of Pentacles tries. The two of pentacles is this, you know, have you ever seen what are you, are they jugglers? Do you, you, someone with two balls, three balls, and they're just doing this. That takes effort. The two of pentacles is effort. So there, there is effort being applied here. I'm hearing, but when you look at it from down here, it, it looks like it's just out of whack or you're not, you're not, you're not doing enough or you're not trying but i'm hearing they're trying and they're doing as as what they can based on the position it is that they're in however that resonates now um i feel like that's your reading that is something it is that you should know uh that was future energy so again i, I feel like you you that's what you can expect is that uh you can expect an exchange here to continue to 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 happen and a situation to be on hold and for someone to continue to appear to be thinking something or you're not ready to do something um one more card for my dear uh, aries uh, spirit we have the tower Okay, and that landed face down. And then we have the temperance. The tower and then the temperance. For many of you, this is a situation that is going to... Um, so whatever needs to happen here, this is a love reading, okay? So let me give you an example. 
what needs to be done is what is going is what is best for the relationship now for each and every one of you that's going to be something different let's just say that they have to release some sort of prior commitment okay in order you know to help this union pretty much what is going to happen what is going to make that happen is not that person making that decision i feel like things are going to in a sense happen they're going to happen for them so that's the tower so there's going to be an event circumstances future okay what it is that you should know what is going to bring balance into this uh connection is going to take place through a tower moment which is sudden is unexpected and the tower is when you you know you're building something you're holding on to something that it's not going to work out but that you for whatever reason continue investing your time and your energy to but the tower is something that you build so th there 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 is uh in 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 there is definitely somewhat of a conscious choice there that is made so you know, something that i'm getting here for some of you is that there is this like ignoring or postponing something till it's too late it's almost like what it seems like someone will be postponing something until they can't anymore and not because you know they're waiting for the right moment to do it although that's i feel like that's what they're thinking this is all going to come to an to a head without that person planning it because it's, it is a situation that is destined to end that's the tower. So maybe that is something that, you know, that other individual doesn't, you know, grasp completely and they're still having to kind of, you know, work through. You know, because when people hold back from making decisions, it's because, you know, they're not sure whether, like right now I'm talking like there is something that needs to end. One more card. Oh, that was a bunch. One more card spirit for this tower. There could be a, a Scorpio of significance. We have the six of cups. Wow. Okay. Uh, for some of you, like when I saw this, I thought about a child for many. So that's the kind of situation that happens, right? Something unexpected like an unplanned childbirth. That's just kind of something that I'm getting here for some of you. So you can understand this tower. And that, for example, that birth, you know, that shocker, that news of like there's a, ch a child now. It's, it, just, it just kind of forces you to deal with things or to do things that, you know, before you, you didn't do for whatever reason. So that's kind of like, you know, the energy that we have going on here. Temperance card. We have the six of pentacles. We have the six of pentacles again. The month of, the, yeah, I feel like this month is of significance for many of you. Six months from now as well. The six of pentacles is a gift guys it is it's a gift especially so here with this temperance do know that there will be a gift that will come this is future energy okay this is for me for the majority of you it's months from now okay do something it is that you should know is that a gift a beautiful gift will come in a chaotic time. Tower, 
the Six of Cups, the Temperance, and the Six of Pentacles. I'm going to leave it at that. Now let's get an Oracle card for you, my dear Aries. If you want to book a reading with me, guys, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to votrevoyagetarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. If you have an Instagram, please do follow me on there. That link is down below. <clears throat> Aries, let's get this one. Butterfly. Transformation, growth, new cycles. Affirmation. I embrace the transformation that empowers me to fulfill my divine potential. You are growing. You may not realize it or know how things are going to work out, but they will do so at the right time. Do not be afraid to let go of the world, your plans or the ways of being you have known. Your higher self is guiding you into the next level of authentic self-expression. This will be quite different to your past experiences. Expect the unexpected and know you will be able to thrive in the new worlds that are currently unknown to you. Embrace your process. When the time is right, you shall be ready. Wow. That does go with your reading. There's an element of like surprise, of, of divine timing and, and things happening. At, a, at the right time. I feel like that. I That is definitely that tower, guys. Which is just something unexpected. Here we have health. And let's get another card. It says, expect to have a boost in energy levels or an increase of healthy activities that will greatly improve your overall health as well as help you maintain a positive mindset. Secrecy. It says there's a situation or a person that's not what it appears to be, but you will slowly start to uncover things that have been kept secret. Pay close attention to your surroundings. And then here it says decision. It says there's some kind of decision that will need to be made, whether this is a job, a business, or love. Whether this is a job, a business, or love, don't delay making a decision, waiting for the perfect time. You'll end up missing out. Secrecy and decision. I feel like that are definitely energies that are connected to your reading uh, and specific in connection to that beginning energy or just throughout, you know, the uh, energy that we saw throughout your reading, uh, specifically in connection to like that four of swords and that person there. I feel like secrecy and decision are, are elements that play into the present circumstances. This is what I have for you, my dear Aries. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.